Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install a bale titanium line roller. We just got these made, this is our first batch, they came out beautiful. Now first and foremost, this thing is going to be sent to you in a pre-lubed assembly. It should look exactly like this. We wouldn't recommend taking it apart because it's all lubed and ready to go for you. Now let's get into the actual process of installing this. First and foremost, you want to take your old rotor. This is just one I have for demonstration purposes, it is brand new. And you want to take a look at this screw down in here. You can get that to focus. This screw, you want to take a nice quality Allen wrench. And if you've used your reel, you really want to clean this off with some kind of solvent and put it around that screw head because this is a hard screw to get out sometimes. You want to take this screw, try not to strip it. And there you go. Pops. And we're going to undo this side. So right now we're unscrewing our counterweight from our system. Now there will be some tension on this, hopefully. That means your bail system is good. And we want to take this side with a nine millimeter wrench and start to undo your line roller nut. Now you can pull this whole bailed assembly. Might take a little bit of pushing, but you can pull this whole bailed assembly off just like that and take your aluminum line roller, put it to the side. Now let's take notice of how this system works. We have a slot right here. You can see this flat surface and a round surface around it. And the inside of the line roller, you can see that we have a square hole or a rectangular hole, I suppose, around that. So you take a look at our line roller, you can see we have that flat side in the round, and then we have that rectangular side on this. You can see these flat sides here. So let's take a look at how we actually put this together. What I would recommend doing is taking this and putting this right into there. See, it spins nicely. You wanna make sure it's keyed in properly. And if it's keyed in properly, those two flat sides on the back side should be lined up perfectly to go into our pickup arm. I find it's easier if you put the pickup arm in the down position and you line those up, those keyed slots, until it clicks in kind of place and you can see that it kind of sits nicely, it'll sit flat. But to make sure, we'll take our line roller nut it onto the back and then we tighten. You don't want to over tighten this too hard but you want to make sure that you get this pretty tight. We're going to tighten it even farther though once we're done with this whole step. So make sure that it still spins. Everything looks like it's lined up. Now I want to take this counterweight back here and you see there's a little pin here and a pinhole here and you want to line that up it should step right into place when you get it just right. And then turn that until it sits flat. You want to take your old screw head, push it back into here, and screw this back into place. And you want to make this screw pretty tight. All right, now this kind of weight's installed again. You can feel that this still works, but it should be a little loose. It's because we haven't fully tightened this nut yet. So we want to continue to tighten this nut. And to assist you on the other side of this nut, you might notice there's a hex head. This is a really small 1 16th one that we use these days, but you might have to use a 7 64th on your reel. Chances are this is the most common size we use. But you want to take that, you can put it in there, grab a nine millimeter wrench, and you can tighten them up at the same time. And that makes it really nice and tight. Make sure your line roller still spins nice and free. Your bail system still works flawlessly. Beautiful. Now say you're working on your bail system, getting this installed, and before you even get there, the screw that you have to take out right here strips out. What should you do in that scenario? Well, we would recommend sending it to us. We have special tools to be able to get strip screws out. 
as well as the fact that we have a bunch of different methods that we know that we can get your bail system all put together for you. If you have any kind of issues, please don't hesitate to send it in to us. You can just send the rotor in to us instead of the whole reel if you feel. It's a lot cheaper on shipping, and we'll get it out to you very quickly.